Right, so grab yourself a nice hot cup of tea because today we're back for more British culture. All right, first up, thanks. I hate British charcuterie board. Looks banging to me, lads. I can't lie, that's looking a nine out of 10 to me. Charcuterie board sounds French. Say no. Whereas this, a British spin on it, especially with the beans, banger. I was gonna say I don't know about the baby bell, but whenever I'm around George or Arthur's house and I say I'm hungry, they always offer me baby bells and nothing else. So maybe there's something to it. Also, isn't it funny how birds evolved from dinosaurs and now we're killing them, putting them into the shapes of their ancestors and then eating them like that. PE teacher, it's not that cold. Also PE teacher, that is ridiculously big. I was gonna say it looks edited, but I'm actually not sure it is. What the hell is he wearing that for? I think it shows great dedication. He wasn't willing to let his other job as a bomb disposal expert interfere with his commitment to ITV Sport. Nice. Ian Wright, you're a national hero. All right, next up. Does anyone else wrap presents in tinfoil? No, are you insane? It's cheaper than wrapping paper, not that expensive no tape or scissors required no tape kind of makes sense it's silver so it looks Christmassy it really doesn't it's easy to do so it can be done in the car outside big Tesco I mean if you're that desperate maybe I mean if it's between that or like toilet roll kind of fair enough otherwise don't justify it and don't post it proudly on the internet is this the ultimate level of laziness and well wishing Merry Christmas forwarded that is terrible I wonder if you could forward back a thank you maybe it doesn't even deserve it just a thumbs up all right, next up, the no to tips button has been aggressively worn down on this pub's card machine. Do you want a gratuity? No, number two. If I'm the manager of a place and I'm seeing that, I'm like, I gotta get some new staff. I can imagine OP taking this photo whilst the waiter awkwardly stands there waiting. Imagine, like, oh, can I just take a picture of this? This is really funny. Oh, you can just go ahead and click. No, I'm not, I'm not tipping you. Either we've been accepted by the locals or this is a veiled threat. Are they pheasants? Something that I saw floating around on Twitter yesterday was the amount of people that were calling me a Tory. Getting two pheasants gifted to you, a gift bag, this is remarkably Tory. And I just want to 100% clear up right now that I am not a Tory. My flatmate at uni was a farmer. At the start of one time he came back to the flat via the train from Darlington to the centre of Edinburgh with a brace of pheasants over his shoulder. Folk were spitting at him as he made his way down South Bridge. What the hell? Yeah, so for those of you who don't know, pheasants are literally a non-native bird bread to be shot. I'm Tory. All right, next, the irony. Jack Wills, Great Britain. A classic British make that I think almost went bust and was bought by like JD Sport. Mike Ashley, fabulously British, made in China. Brilliant, cheers lads. Fabulously Chinese. Just spent five very confusing minutes with my new coffee maker trying to work out what Zam was, SMH. How long did it take him, five minutes? Zam. Oh, it's Max backwards. I mean, it does look like it's written on this side to be read from this side, so bad design. How's your Thursday going? What the hell has happened here? Heard a bang while making my morning cup up. Poor guy, is that his house? Ah, uh, yep, a bit windy around here. I mean, still, the wall should have held that. How's your Thursday going? Pretty well, I just pushed some guy's wall over. Very good. The new smoking area in my office. Any smokers or people that vape in their offices are informed of the new location and asked to use this shelter. That is depressing. If you needed any more reason to give up smoking, this would be it. Ooh, got the cinema to myself. What should I do that normally you're not allowed to do? Ask them to pause it so you can go to the toilet. That would literally be the main thing. I actually read about an app the other day that basically tells you, like, you type in the movie you're about to go watch and it tells you when to go for a bathroom break because, like, nothing happens in that period. You're just so clever. A thousand year ban from the takeaway, man. The guy serving shouldn't be there dealing with the public as I find him so, so rude with the customers. Please leave or close the shop soon as I know some Friday night was completely empty. You personally weren't there. Your daughter and her boyfriend were. They were being silly trying to enter the shop through the window into the servery area and asking silly questions. I think they were also intoxicated too. The person you're referring to wasn't rude. I would urge you to act how they did to any other business in the country and see how they react. It's nice to see how you really feel though as you've left a very unkind review like that without being a witness to what happened. Judging by your review though, it looks like you really dislike us and wish on our downfall. I would like to introduce a 1,000 year ban for you and your whole family. What the hell? How badly were they behaving? The next time you can enter our shop and buy food is the year 32. 10, 30, 23. Although I suspect we won't be here nor alive, which is a blessing. So we are finished with these baseless reviews from people with hate in their hearts. This reads like a Sammy and Amy from Amy's Baking Company. <laughs> but part of me does tend to side with the business owners. You know, they obviously kicked them out for a reason. What do you guys think? I'm, I'm siding with uh, I'm siding with Ali and his grill. He said, I've been to the year 3000. Not much has changed, but they live underwater. And your great, great, great granddaughter is still banned from Ali's Grill. Do you know, um, um, I don't know how to follow that, but, um, uh, 
been stood up on an umpteenth bar date. Maybe get the hint and stop inviting people to bar dates. But what else to do but appreciate another lavish loo? That is pretty fancy. Who is this? Is that you? It is. That is bold to be like, I got massively rejected from a date. Here's a photo of me. That is a ridiculously fancy. What the hell? Why is there a chair and a, I guess if you're waiting for a mate, girls do go to the bathroom together. This is kind of what I imagine all women's bathrooms are actually like. You just couldn't do this in a men's toilets actually anyway, because they'd be pissed all over this rug. Always knew women were lying when they said the ladies' toilets were as shit, if not worse than the men's. Yeah, I've seen that on Twitter every now and then. Never thought I could believe it. I'd be curious to know what the men's toilets in this place look like. All right, next up. Anti-theft device left on wine. Ideas. Maybe go back and pay for it? Just had a Morrison's delivery. This was in it. Okay. I'm not sure I believe you, but all right, fine. All right, next up. Could this be a contender for least healthy shop meal deal the UK has to offer? Monster Energy, heart attack. Russell is called to pounder, which by the way, if you don't know what this is, it's a microwavable burger, also heart attack and a Cornish pasty. What the f*** is that? Coming in at a whopping 1,331 calories and 28.4 grams of saturated fat. Mate, that's got to take at least a year off your lifespan. It may not be long before you're on the way to Fatsville. A thankful village, 1914 to 18, and they all returned. No way. There are 6,116 villages in the UK, all of whom contributed men to the World War One effort. In only 56 villages did they all return at the end of the war. That was what I thought this was going to be. That's so interesting. They're called thankful villages, and I stumbled upon one called Toft in Cambridgeshire. Apparently the only thankful village in the county. That's so cool. I had no idea that this was even a thing. I'll see your thankful village and raise you doubly thankful villages, both wars. No way. Oh, the the number of doubly thankful villages are thought to be just 14. One of the most fortunate of the doubly thankful villages is the ironically named Upper Slaughter, an idyllic picture postcard community in the Cotswolds. No way, that's so cool. And the village itself survived a potentially devastating air raid in February 1944, where the Luftwaffe dropped thousands of incendiary bombs on the houses. No way. That is so cool. I absolutely love fun facts like that. Oh no, I've either screwed up or had my pants pulled down with this wrapping paper. It's see-through, what is the point? I mean, it could be worse, it could be tinfoil. And yeah, you can't even tell it's see-through there, that's terrible. I'm guessing it's for decorative purposes, but who buys wrapping paper to decorate it with an extra layer? My nan, and that's it. Although this, on top of tinfoil, actually could look quite good. So not the end of the world. Oh, my 78-year-old granddad was looking like a pimp when he got his law degree today. Shout out, Gramps. Looking very fly. He's actually only 22. This is just what equity and land modules do to a person. Yeah, law and equity and land law. My goodness. Law and equity, I didn't actually mind, but land law. Oh my goodness. Land law was the only thing that made me genuinely consider dropping out. Anyway, that's such a sweet, wholesome post to end on. So thank you for watching. Make sure you're subscribed for the next one. Let me know what else you want me to look at. Leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. And as always, thanks for watching. Bye.